Hey guys, we're now going to expand and remove grouping symbols. However, we've got to be careful. This involves negative numbers. With negative numbers or directed numbers, we have to be extra careful because the negative can stuff up the question if we don't follow the rules. Let's get started with these examples. The first example says minus 3 and then open bracket x plus 9 close bracket. We know with expanding there is an invisible multiplication right there. So negative 3 times everything inside the bracket. Negative 3 times the x and negative 3 times the 9. We show the arrows to show that negative 3 times x, negative 3 times the positive 9. Let's go and do it. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Then negative 3 times positive 9. We know that 3 times 9 is 27. And negative times a positive, we know the negative will win. Negative times positive, negative, and 3 times 9, 27. We remember that a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive, the answer will always be negative. So negative 3 times positive 9 is negative 27. That's our final answer for that question. Here, we have negative 6 times everything inside the bracket. We're asked to expand. So to expand, we are going to remove the brackets by multiplying the outside with everything inside. Everything inside. Negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. Negative 6 times negative 2b. We notice that there's two negatives. A negative times a negative becomes a positive. A negative times a negative becomes positive. 6 times 2 is 12. And b. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. And the b. Negative 6 times negative 2b is positive 12b. That's our final answer. Negative 48 plus 12b. Let's do some more. Look at these. This one here, it says negative, then open bracket, b plus 4, close bracket. What do you notice? You notice that there is no numeral. It's just a negative. But in fact, it actually means negative 1. So whenever you see a negative like that, you know straight away there's an invisible 1. But we are lazy, we don't write it, but we know it's there. So negative really means negative 1 times b, negative 1 times 4. Negative 1 times b is negative 1b or negative b. And negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So minus b or negative b minus 4 is the final answer. And negative here by itself really means negative 1. Once again, we have negative. And then open bracket 3 minus 8a close bracket, we're asked to expand. So we're going to multiply the outside with everything inside. And we know there's a negative 1, it's invisible. So negative 1 times 3, negative 1 times 3, negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 8, two negatives, negative 1 times negative 8. We said two negatives become a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8 and a. So negative 1 times negative 8a is positive 8a. Our answer minus 3 plus 8a for that one. Let's do some more examples. Okay guys, let's do in these two examples. We have negative x. Open bracket, x minus 4, close bracket. So the negative x is going to multiply everything inside. Negative x times x, negative x squared. And then negative x times negative 4. We know two negatives 
multiply together make a positive. Negative x times negative 4 becomes positive 4x. So our answer, negative x squared plus 4x. A negative here and negative here make a positive. x times 4, 4x. Let's do another one. See if you can do this one. Do it with me. We have negative b, open bracket, minus 3 plus 2b, close bracket. Again, don't let the negatives scare you or make you think that you can't do it. We follow the rules and we won't go wrong. Negative b times negative 3. We know two negatives multiplied become a positive, so it's just b times 3 is 3b. It's the same as positive 3b. Then negative b times 2b, negative and positive, multiplied together make a negative. Then b times 2b is 2b squared. So 3b minus 2b squared is our answer. Let's quickly go through it. Minus b times minus 3 is positive 3b. The two negatives make a positive, so it's just 3b. And negative b times positive 2b, a negative times a positive is a negative, b times 2b is 2b squared. Now, 3b minus 2b squared is the final answer. We can't simplify it any further. Now, we're going to do two more where we are going to simplify. Okay, guys, let's have some fun. Now, we're going to be expanding and also simplifying. However, we've got to be careful, there are negative numbers. We have to be extra careful. Okay, we have negative 2a, open bracket, 4 plus a, close bracket, minus a squared. Well, we know there's a multiplication, we need to expand first. So negative 2a times everything inside the bracket, only inside the bracket, be careful of that. Negative 2a times 4, negative 8a. Negative 2a times 4 is negative 8a. Then negative 2a times a, again we have a negative and a positive, become a negative. 2a times a is 2a squared. So now we've expanded everything inside. Negative 8a minus 2a squared. Is that all? No. Please don't forget that we have to simplify, we still have minus a squared there. I've seen students where they think they've finished and no, they actually get it wrong because they haven't um, finished off the question. So you have to always take extra care and make sure you finish the question in full. Minus 8a, minus 2a squared, minus a squared. Now, we are asked to simplify, so we're going to collect like terms. Are there like terms? a squared, a squared are like terms. Now we can simplify. Negative 8a minus 2a squared minus a squared. We know there's an invisible 1 here. So minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3a squared. Minus 2 minus 1, there's an invisible 1 right there. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3a squared. Our final answer, minus 8a minus 3a squared. Again, expanding and then we have to simplify. Don't make that mistake of not simplifying and then you leave the answer here and then you think you've finished when in fact you haven't. You lose marks and you get it wrong. Let's do the last one. We have 12 minus 4, open bracket, x minus 5. Now, what do we do? Do we do 12 take away 4 and get 8 and then 8 times everything inside the bracket? The answer is no. Never. Why? Because there's a multiplication here. And we know Bod Mass says the brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction, it says that you have to do multiplication before addition or subtraction. Here we have a subtraction, here we have a multiplication. So multiplication comes first. Very important that you note that. I've seen students where they go 12 take away 4, they get 8, and then they times everything in the bracket. No, you have to expand, do the multiplication first, 
then do addition and subtraction. So here we have negative 4. It's not 4, it's negative 4. Negative 4 times x, negative 4x. Very important that you pick that out. It's negative 4 times x, negative 4x, negative 4 times negative 5 is positive. 20. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Now, that's the working out for the expanding. We know the 12 is still there. Minus 4x plus 20. Now, we can actually simplify it. Looking for like terms. Where are the like terms? The 12 and the 20. 12 plus 20. This minus belongs to the 4x. So 12 plus 20, 32 minus 4x. 12 plus 20, 32 minus 4x. Let me go through this one one more time. We have 12 take away 4. Open bracket, x minus 5, close bracket. We have 12 take away 4 and we know there's a multiplication, it's invisible. We do the multiplication first because we have to follow the order of operations. Very important. Negative 4 times x, negative 4 times negative 5. So negative 4 times x, negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. So that is the solution for the expanding in this section here. 12, we bring it down. Minus 4x plus 20, there it is. And now we collect like terms, 12 plus 20 is 32 minus 4x. So it is always important. I always stress, when you are doing algebraic expression, be careful of the negatives. The majority of students I've seen when they make mistakes in years 9, 10, 11 and 12. It's not because they don't know algebra, it's not because they don't know what to do, they do, but the problem is they miss the negative. The negative can change your whole answer and you get it all wrong. So always be extra careful when you're working with algebraic expressions and negative numbers.